traveling with pets in cargo. I will not take my dog in the cargo hold of the aircraft. I have heard terrible things about it, and I am not willing to risk it. How true is the statement, really? Um, you know, uh, we get this asked quite a bit as well, right? I want to travel with my pet, but I am not willing to put my dog in the cargo or cargo hold. Let's try and break this down and try and understand what exactly is cargo hold and how safe or unsafe is it really. Now cargo hold is typically the hold uh, or the belly of the aircraft where your luggage gets stored, where goods get stored, uh, you know, in some cases, you know, uh, foodstuffs, you know, medicines, etc. A lot of things kind of get transported in the hold of the aircraft. Along with that, live animals get transported as well. Now, this part or the hold of the aircraft, every time there is a live animal, airlines will have an area demarcated for animals. Uh, now, this area will not have anything else on it, right? So, no other luggage will be hold, uh, loaded on that particular, it's called a pallet. No other uh, stuff will be loaded on that. And that whole area is demarcated for the animals, animal or animals that is traveling on the, on the flight. Now, is this place, is this safe? Uh, well, it, it, it is temperature controlled. So the temperature is pretty much similar to how we have in, in the cabin, slightly colder, but uh, temperature is controlled. Air pressure is definitely on. All the newer aircrafts, all the pet-friendly aircrafts have a way of checking that these two are functioning well. Now, how does one check a pet into the cargo hold, right? There are typically, there are two ways that you can check your pet in. One is what we call as accompanied baggage or excess baggage, uh, which means that your pet is uh, tagged onto your PNR saying that it is a part of your personal baggage. And then you go into the passenger terminal and then you check your pet in along with your baggage. Um, so the pets will, baggage will get loaded on the same aircraft, your pets will go into this demarcated area and they get loaded there. Uh, the second is, of course, for some reason, if you're not able to carry your pet along with you uh, due to size restriction, maybe country regulations, uh, maybe routing, whatever be the reason, then, um, you know, you will have to check them into the cargo terminal. Um, so so here uh, it is. Lo so basically cargo terminal is where the same, right? On the same aircraft, it will be loaded in. In most cases, in the same aircraft, it will be loaded in. But it is just going to be done through the cargo terminal. Of course, there are rules processes because cargo terminal, uh, there is custom clearance, etc. But the point being that <clears throat> cargo, uh, the hold of the aircraft uh, is where, believe it or not, close to 85 to 90 percent of the pets that travel internationally travel. Uh, the only other way or only two other ways that pets can travel will typically, typically be in cabin. Uh, now, in cabin will be only if your pet meets certain size and weight restrictions, typically up to like say seven, eight kgs, and uh, this is including the bag or the carrier, <clears throat> and of course some dimensions the, because the pet has to fit under the seat during takeoff, landing, uh, and during cruising. Uh, the the third the third way of doing this would be of course right, and there is a special thing for emotional support animals and service animals. Actually, and this is for people who really have emotional support and service animals. Uh, we see a lot of people wanting to show the dog as emotional support or service animals just to kind of utilize this. Uh, our recommendation is please do not because for you it is just one trip. Uh, but if something, uh, if your pet did not behave as per the service animals or emotional support animals protocols laid down by the airlines, it can end up uh, causing a lot of problem for actual service animal or people who need service animals or who are dependent on their animals emotionally. Hopefully this helps. Share it with someone who cares for it.